Welcome. We'll be looking at creating the data source in this video. And again, the data source is one part of, um, or one aspect of completing a mail merge. The purpose of our data source, again, is that it serves as a repository for the information that will be used to personalize the main document. And when we combine the data source and the main document, what we'll end up with is the merged document. All right. Now, as you're seeing, we're using Microsoft Word 2007, and we're going to get started. We begin in the Home tab, and to access the Mail Merge feature of the of Microsoft Word, we're going to go to the Mailings tab. From mailings, we're going to click on select recipients. You have the option here to do a walkthrough of mail merge. It's a step by step wizard that comes with the Microsoft Word 2007. All right, for our purposes here, we're creating the data source, so we're going to go here. In the options, we have um, type new list, use existing list, and select from all of contacts. For a type new list, we use this when we don't have a list as yet, and we need to create one. We use existing list. Let's say you have created a data source before, and you want to use that one again. Select from Outlook contacts. That's selecting from Microsoft Outlook contacts from an address book that you have created in that application. So for us here, we're going to click type new list. All right. So clicking on type new list. So we click on type new list and we've now opened the dialog box for us to create our fields. What you'll notice here is that the dialog box has a lot of fields and at times you'll find that you may not necessarily need all these fields for the info to enter information. So we have to go and customize the columns. Now for us, our scenario will be that we're creating a letter to send to different persons and um, what we'll need here um, is just some, a few of these fields and we're going to look at modifying and removing or renaming or adding fields as we, as we need them. So first we'll look at deleting the fields. So in order to delete a field, you click on the field that you don't want and you click delete and ask if you're sure and you click yes. So we didn't need the email, we don't need the work phone. So removing it, same for home phone. And we're just going to go through this process. Now for address line one, line two in Jamaica, we normally use one, I think. Um, so we'll just use one. So we don't need line two, we can delete that. We don't need company name, so we click on that and remove it. Now, let's say we end up in a scenario where we have address line one, but we don't want it to be called address line one. We just click on the field that we want to adjust, click on rename, and we'll just take off what we don't want. There it is. Now we need to add a field because having the address is one thing, but in Jamaica we we'll, we'll need the parish. So we click add and we're going to add parish there. And that is it. So we've customized our columns. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to press an OK. And there we have it. So what you need to do from here now is just to um, use the data source, that you use the information that you have. Or you need, in our case, we need to create them. So title, that's Mr. Mrs. Miss Doctor Major, whatever the case, person's title. And first name. And parish, let's just say. Now what I'm going to do is just to add a couple more. And um, get to it. So 
after you finish entering the first, you're going to click new entry and that gives you the new row. Oh, the lower is the female's name. Let's just change that. And let's just have the last one. And we once we're through entering all the information for our data service, you click on OK. And a dialog box should come up. All right. For you to save your data source. Now our data source is normally saved in a folder called My Data Sources that's located in My Documents. All right. And it's normally saved as a Microsoft Access file because it, it saves itself as a database. So you give your data source a name, and this is what allows us to so we'll call it first data source. This is what allows us to use it later on when we click on the option to use existing list. Save, and that's it. What you'll notice now, if you look back to the beginning of the video, this opens up now these other icons that we use as we go through completing our mail merge.